Good morning, Father's Rock here. It is about 6.15 um, on Monday. I'm here at a different porch. I'm actually here at my brother's porch. He lives out in Missoula, Montana. The scenery that I showed you beforehand was uh, the view from his his back porch, which is really quite spectacular. He's about uh, 10 minutes outside of the center of town, so it's really great. And the temperature, as I noted right now, is 56 degrees. It's going to probably go up to 96 degrees. They've really been having uh, quite a heat wave out here over the last month, month and a half out here. So if you're going to do any fishing, whether it's for men or for cutthroat trout, you've got to get out early. So, uh, first porch talk in a while, and I want to begin by thanking everybody who offered notes and cards and presents and visits and offers of kindness uh, during the passing away of my mother. The kindness was really quite overwhelming, and the, more than anything, the number of mass cards that I received. Uh, I want to thank everybody for, for all of your kindness. Uh, the, the number of cards I received is really quite overwhelming for my brother and I, and I want to really thank you for all of the, the love and the support that you gave me through the last couple of months. Uh, I was very grateful it made that somewhat transitional period much, much easier. No, I am not on the banks of some river in Montana. I am actually down under the spillway of the Francis Walter Dam, uh, which empties out into the Lehigh River. Uh, the first part of this video was filmed a number of weeks ago in Montana, the uh, first day I got there. And although I could have re-recorded it, I thought it really accurately captured uh, not only the, the information that I wanted to get out to everybody, but also the, the emotions as well. So I decided, although it's somewhat dated, uh, to keep it. So I am here, and uh, on again, in God's porch, as it were, and I'm reading a book. I just started it. It's called A Shot in the Arm, A Guide to Diagnosing and Improving Spiritual Health. It's written by a medical doctor named Dr. Kevin Luxus. He lives out in Indiana. And one of the things that Dr. Luxus talks about early in the book is he outlines his spiritual journey and how it had gone up and down and how frustrated he was as he started to move through various stages of spiritual growth. And one of the things that he found was the frustration of materials, programs, books on growing spiritually and he does since he's a doctor he kind of does a diagnosis of this and th one of the things that he talks about is the fact that there are very few books out there that are there that are simple but pre pre but also present theology in a way that is deep but also cogent and understandable i'll tell you one example that i've read recently and i know a number of you have as well uh, matt kelly's book i heard god laugh there is a section in there on prayer that encapsulate classic prayer tradition tremendously. And so I think Matt Kelly's book is a case. I think this one is going to be the same thing. I'm the, through the first four chapters, and I've been very impressed, not only with the way that the doctor very simply presents some very deep and helpful Catholic spirituality, uh, but also the fact that what he's presenting is, is very rich. Uh, I'm going to give you one example. Uh, he talks about health and heart. When you're looking at heart issues from a medical point, you look for three diag three. Uh, you look at a diagnosis of from three thing points of view. If uh, if something is wrong, one is pain, such as angina. One is something that doesn't belong: fever, palpitations, leg swelling, and things not working right: trouble breathing, losing consciousness, etc. He says, in the same way, and I'm quoting him, we can identify problems with our spiritual heart in one of four areas: what we treasure where your heart is, that's where your treasure lies. Two, how we see things. Are we seeing them through the world's eyes or through God's eyes? Three, what comes out of us in terms of our speech and in terms of our behavior? Behavior will reflect and speech will reflect our values. And finally, for our responsiveness to God and movements of the spirit. 
I think those are four good things to be able to begin to chew on. And I'm going to be looking at this book over the next couple of weeks, and we'll go a little more in depth in all four of those things. But for now, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a, a teaser, as it were. Uh, I recommend the book, and uh, I want to thank you once again for everything that you did to support me over the last couple of, uh, couple of months. I'm grateful. I'm also very much glad to be back home. God bless.